Taking pictures of the geese. They're hungry. What? The little ones. The little ones. Yeah. The little ones. The little ones. Uh huh. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, guten tag, privet, bonjour, hola, and ciao to my foreign friends. And um, today I wanted to talk about uh, this knife. It starred in one of my recent videos, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, talk about this nice case uh, muskrat here. And it is, um, I can't remember what this coloring is. Uh, I want to say Cabernet. I think that's what Case called it, is a Cabernet. Nice, really nice, uh, pretty coloring on this. As only Case can do. Man, they do a great job with their uh, scales, don't they? Look at that. So uh, I bought this knife last year, and um, it's one of those knives uh, that don't have any uh, defects in it. And, um, you know, the liners are tight here. There is no gapping uh, whatsoever. Functions properly. I'm um, sure we can nitpick it, but um, it's a 2019. But it's just absolutely gorgeous. The knife, um, I'm not really sure on what the specs call for in this knife, but it's uh, uh, 3 and 15 16 so almost 4 inches on this knife. Uh, probably the specs are 4 and 7 8 but it's a little bit longer than that. Nice little uh, muskrat here. That's uh, both blades, and if you don't know what a muskrat is, that's kind of what it is right there. Two of the same opposing blades. Um, these look like California clips, but uh, muskrat blades were thinner, and they started almost, the clip almost started, uh, you know, very, about right there. So, um, this is not a strictly traditional muskrat. But a lot of muskrats you see will will have this uh, California clip blade on it. Pretty cool. Nice knife. Good walk and talk. Little double bomb shield there. A little different. It's in brass. Brass liners on it. Pretty nice little knife. Uh, let me show you the uh, model number on this thing. Where Where is the model number? There you go. They don't use a model number. They just call it a muskrat. So that's pretty interesting. And nice knife. Um, my backdrop today, uh, I collect all kinds of old things. This is a uh, old book, a uh, prayer book. You can see right there. This thing dates, I think, to 1858. Yeah, 1858. Pretty old book. Not in very good shape. You know, not worth anything without the spine and the uh, covering on it, really. Kind of crazy. 1858 they're putting this wild mosaic uh, cover on the back of it I like old books though a lot of times you find really cool things in them this one here I think is from 1890s yeah let's see if we can find it real quick just a book of English poems and there's copyright 1897 and then uh, this one's a book about um, India which is uh, kind of hilarious so this book dates to 1856 
and it's in pretty good shape nice engraved uh, cover on it eighteen fifty six And um, one of these pictures in here actually is pretty good for a knife collector. So you can see what kind of knives this guy was carrying in 1856 in um, India. That's pretty cool. You can see his arm, swords swung over to the side there. But it looks like they carried two blades. An archer. Pretty interesting though. I like old books. Uh, it's really funny sometimes the uh, thoughts they had. Uh, especially in light of uh, today modern society. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me show the knife again. Whoops. Looking at that case must wrap. Oh, oh nice. Nice coloring on that. Nice. Thanks for supporting the channel. Have a great day, and we'll catch you later.